Hi, good morning, good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. How are you? How are you guys? How are you doing? Fine, sir. Fine, fine, okay. So let everyone join. So after sir, long gap, uh, sorry? Sir, Ashoka bill is uh, only for male candidates, sir. sir. No, ma'am. Actually, uh, female got unnar ma. So males are mandatory. Gaadu. If you are interested in sales executive, so I think you can uh, attend for the interview. Okay. It is not just for males. Females also fine. Okay, sir. The thing is, you should be ready to do sales. Okay. So sales in terms of civil engineering only. Okay. Okay, sir. One second, I will let you know once uh, everyone join, I will give a brief about uh, company and all. Okay, okay, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, call Jayman, sir. If you call Jayman, you can tell details on the chapter. Hmm? Ah, chip. All right. Okay, sir. Ah, this, sir. Ah, number. So I got a small model to you guys. So to explain about how the pre-stressing takes place and all. So you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, we are having five modules, right? So in that, uh, we have done with the three modules. So where the first module is about introduction to pre-stressing. And the second module is about uh, types of pre-stressings and uh, pre-stressing losses, right? And the third module is on moment, uh, I mean, bending moment and shear. And don't worry, guys, we are going to deal all kind of problems uh, exclusively on the board, okay? So what uh, I did is if the same uh, pandemic is going to continue till end of the semester. So what I planned is I have purchased a small tablet. So where I can able to solve problems on that. Okay. So which is going to be visible to you uh, visually. Right. So in that way, uh, I made, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to plan to solve problems uh, on board. Okay. So which is like a digital board. Okay. So in that way, we are going to solve each and every problem there in the unit. Don't worry. Uh, I, I think we solved problems from pre-stressing losses in the sec second module, but we are supposed to do problems on the bending moment and shear force, uh, right? So these problems we are going to solve once our theory, you know, uh, completes, okay? Yeah, uh, so actually the fourth module is on transfer of pre-stress in uh, pre-tensioned members. Right. Uh, so we'll start this and so see why there are only few. Mithun? Sir. Mm, only six members on Naru? Previous class. Six, five members on Naru. Previous class gana and them on the chair, sir. See, hello, why? See, they are, you know, college is insisting us to take online classes. If the strength is less, see what can we do? Hmm? <laughs> So if the offline classes starts, then it will be fine. If the same online classes are going to continue till the end of the semester, so you are supposed to attend Gada. Yes. So because sir. if you're not attending, it will be a problem. 
right uh, okay uh, so anyway you can share this information to your friends also so i have forwarded one placement drive so which is ashoka builders india private limited so which is one of the reputed uh, uh, construction company in hyderabad so you all know that ashoka builders so asbl ashoka builders india private limited is a sister concern of ashoka builders okay so uh, what uh, they uh, see recently we had a drive in our campus for uh, mr 16 so for your seniors right so in that what we did so they came to college they conducted a drive so they selected five students uh, four from btec and one from mtech okay they are going to be recruited as a graduate engineer trainee okay and their package is 25000 per month and they are going to join from uh, 2nd of january next year okay uh, january 2021 okay so that is how we made a placement drive for your seniors and now what uh, they are requesting is if any student is interested in sales executive okay so you can work with them for at least 3 to 4 months uh, as an intern so where you are going to learn everything related to a company and uh, even you can get trained in uh, uh, engineering side also okay and the package is good so you are getting around 4 lakhs package as a sales executive so i think uh, uh, so when you uh, heard at sales executive so you may think that it is somewhat related to mba no you know so i think uh, so as it is a civil engineering uh, company so civil engineer can do better sale compared with other uh, specialization first persons right so you have to convince customer you have to uh, you know explain each and every part of the uh, their construction activities to the customer i think civil engineer can um, uh, well adverse with uh, you know explaining all these uh, things to the customer so in that way what i, I, to, I requested uh, hr so uh, if any civil student is good enough in communication uh, you know uh, making them to understand the real uh, aspects of the construction activities you know uh, how the flat was and you need to explain about the areas you know uh, so what is the quality of the construction how uh, you are going to be benefited with this uh, uh, you know purchasing the flat and all so if you are good enough in entering into the sales part so definitely your salary will be very good and you will be very much you know uh, interactive with many people around okay so in that way uh, just i forwarded you the uh, job description if anyone is interested to be a part of uh, asbl so definitely it is open for all the days till 31st okay and the timings are also given like 10 am to 6 pm so you can attend the drive straight away uh, if you are get selected so definitely uh, it will be you know uh, you know uh, like job is uh, in your hand and uh, as it is a regular uh, job uh, in the next coming uh, uh, from january to april so we college i mean we definitely give permission to you guys to work okay so you can go and work okay so the, the there is no restriction as the classes are all online so you can attend whenever you required and anyway all the classes are going to be recorded okay so after your free time so definitely you can uh, um, i mean go through the classes again right and don't bother about attendance so when you have got placed through college we are the one who are going to give 100% attendance to you guys okay so this is how uh, we planned right uh, so please try to utilize this opportunity because uh, as i heard uh, no construction company or no civil engineering company giving uh, this much salary for the freshers okay even for graduate engineer trainee uh, 25000 salary without any experience is very huge amount and especially in hyderabad you are going to place in hyderabad and you are going to work here itself okay for hyderabad projects so in that way uh, this company is uh, good so because we already faced this company in our college just uh, one month before so i think students are very happy they are going to join uh, from 2nd of january okay so please utilize this opportunity if you are ready by tomorrow you can go it and it and drive tomorrow okay so there is no particular date from tomorrow you are ready you are eligible uh, to attend for off campus drive okay in between 10 to 6 pm right so that is about company and you can share this information to all uh, your friends so by that you can go in group and you can attend the drive okay so this is about asbl right
and uh, yeah so there are few uh, companies which are getting uh, by the placement uh, officer i mean placement uh, cell uh, so they are somewhat related to uh, software and like you know uh, bpos and for customer support and all even you can attend them so you can get experienced uh, in that also if you are good enough uh, if you are really interested you can join them okay see getting job within the academic year i mean within the campus is uh, always uh, good okay so because if you go outside no one refer you no one will recommend you okay so no one allows you to the company okay even for attending the drives okay so that's the reason why getting job within the campus is always uh, you know a good thing right okay yeah so anyway uh, as even the strength is less i would like to show you a small uh, uh, model which was prepared uh, by me um so where you can able to understand better about what exactly the pre stressing and uh, why the pre stressing is having more advantages compared to rcc okay so let me stop the screen sharing and i will show you the model guys you can see this right yeah see uh this is uh, a beam right a beam so which is a flexible one right so i made a beam uh in a form of an elastic mode so by that you can able to see the deflection and all right see uh it's a rectangular beam you can see the beam which is uh, a rectangular cross section right see first no let let first know about why beam should be placed with respect to its depth okay so why beam depth should be more compared to the width anedi manam telusukundam right so as it is a rectangular beam as it is a rectangular beam if i place the beam in this direction okay and when i apply load what happens see there will be a huge deflection why because the depth of the beam is less so as we know the bending strength is always depends on depth of the beam when the depth is more obviously the bending strength the moment resistance will always will be more for the same load which i am applying if i place the beam in this direction okay see obviously the deflection will be less okay so i am inserting the same i mean i am putting the same load so but the deflection is less comparatively with the previous mode where the depth of the section is less isn't it so this is what happens in the real beam when it is up, when it is subjected to load as initially it is straight so when you apply load it will have a deflection right so this is how the beam got deflected isn't it right so now let me show you how the pre stressed concrete um uh, is having uh, more resistance towards load in terms of deflection right okay so now i will replace with another model so which is a post tensioned beam right the same rectangular beam same rectangular cross section beam what i did is i inserted a string okay a small string throughout the length of the beam e end nunchi e end varaku string in any insert chesa how it was inserted you know it was inserted in a form of a parabolic shape why parabolic shape because i think you all uh, understood when we exp one second so i think we all know uh, in uh, uh, profiling so what is the mode of profiling profiling will be in a parabolic shape why parabolic shape so when you try to stretch the strands okay so the parabolic shape will tends to become straight okay so in that way your beam subjected to hog okay so that is what happened uh, in terms of providing profiling in terms of a parabolic shape so in the same way if you try to observe the shape was in a parabolic shape okay so let me just draw on the beam so how the 
స్ట్రింజ్ వాజ్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ ఇన్ ద బీమ్ ఈ బీమ్ లో స్ట్రింజ్ ఎలా ప్రొవైడ్ అయి ఉందంటే ఓకే సో ఇట్ వాస్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ లైక్ దిస్ సో ఐ థింక్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్ సీ ద ప్రొఫైలింగ్ షేప్ రైట్ సో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఎన్ ఏ ప్యారబోలా షేప్ ఈవెన్ ఈ స్ట్రింజ్ కూడా ప్యారబోలా షేప్ లోని ఇన్సర్ట్ చేశాను ఓకే మీకు డౌట్ రావచ్చు సార్ మీరు ఎలా ఇన్సర్ట్ చేశారు స్ట్రింజ్ ఈ ఎండ్ నుంచి ఈ ఎండ్ వరకు ఇన్ ఏ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ ప్యారబోలా సి వాట్ ఐ డెడ్ ఈస్ యూ ఆల్ నో అవర్ ఎలెంట్ మెట్రో విచ్ ఈస్ వయాడక్ట్ ఈస్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ సెగ్మెంట్స్ రైట్ సో ఇక్కడ కూడా ఏం చేశానంటే జస్ట్ ఐ టుక్ డిఫరెంట్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ లైక్ దిస్ ఓకే దే ఆర్ అరౌండ్ ఎయిట్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ ఈచ్ సెగ్మెంట్ లో నుంచి స్ట్రింజ్ ని ఇన్సర్ట్ చేస్తూ వచ్చాను ఇన్ అ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ ప్యారాబోల షేప్ ఓకే చూడండి ఇదే ఇదే డైరెక్షన్ లో ఇన్సర్ట్ చేస్తూ వచ్చాను అట్ సెంటర్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ అట్ బాటమ్ స్ట్రింజ్ ఈస్ అట్ బాటమ్ అండ్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎండ్ ద స్ట్రింజ్ విల్ బీ అట్ సెంటర్ ఓకే సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ద క్రాస్ సెక్షన్ ఇక్కడ సెంటర్ లో ఉంటుంది ఈ ఎండ్ లో సెంటర్ లో ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ మాత్రం స్ట్రింజ్ బాటమ్ లో ఉంటుంది ఇన్ సైడ్ ఓకే యూ కాన్ సీ ద స్ట్రింజ్ బికాస్ స్ట్రింజ్ వాస్ ఇన్ సైడ్ so string mm-hmm. ante i am calling it as a strand anmadi this strand okay mm-hmm. see now see the uh, beam was straight kada now what mm-hmm. i do is i will try to pull the strands ante kada post tensioning lane chestar we are going to pull the strands with the help of hydraulic jacks ikkada nenu manual ga pull chestanu see let's see when i pull the strand you can see the hogging in the beam yeah then some of the rest all right right so you can see the hogging in the beam right initially beam was straight now i am applying the force on both ends with equal force so you can see the where the beam was hogged so now again straight yeah this is what happens in post tensioning understand the pre tensioning is different pre tensioning what we do you will first pull the strands okay and then we will do casting after concrete gets set we are going to release the strands and then the stresses will induced in the concrete and where the concrete is pre tension okay but this is not the case this is the post tensioning elaga post tensioning you got the strand was inserted into the beam after casting the beam casted beam ankondi and i have inserted the strand into the beam in a form of a profiled shape parabola shape lo insert chesa and then i am pulling with the help of some hydraulic jack okay usually it will be with the help of hydraulic jack but now i am doing manually so you can see how the beam is hogged kada chudandi center lo observe cheyandi center lo you can see the hogging right yeah this is washed this is what a post post tension understand so now why i explained this model to you guys because the fourth chapter is completely on mode of transmission of pre tensioned forces into the concrete okay the elaga forces and the concrete look induced out that see now you can see without having bond between this rubber and strand strand ki rubber ki bonding led ankonde uh, will it will it uh, transfer any force into the beam transfer over right so there should be a bonding okay the strand ki rubber ki local bonding undi kabatte through that bonding the uh, tension okay you are applying tensile forces into the strand and the forces are inducing into the concrete where concrete is becoming hog right see when concrete becomes hog what happens so now the hogging lo undi right so now apply the load Okay, if you apply the load now what happens it will become straight instead of sagging what happens it will hog and sorry it will become straight okay the so normal beam lo what happens in a normal beam i will show you the even the normal beam also so this is the normal beam right so in two beam you can find the deflection very clearly okay so this is the normal beam when you apply load the normal beam bends so but in the back side of pre post tension member when you apply force when it is under pre stressing so definitely you can't see the deflection okay so it becomes straight or not one second am hello sir hello
Okay, okay, sir. I will give the list, sir. I will send you the list. Uh, sir, we will call faculty, sir. By that, uh, faculties can interact with them and we can get them. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, so that's how we can. Okay, okay, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry for the disturbance. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is what happens. Okay, so now your our fourth chapter is completely on transmission of forces into the beam or into the concrete, right? So this way, how we can able to understand uh, what exactly the pre-tensioning and what do you mean the post-tension? Okay. So now let me share you the screen and show you. Um, it's a family party. Guys, please mute yourself. Who is that? 152. Who is that 152? Guy, I'm muting you and you are unmuting again. Okay, right. So the fourth module uh, is completely about transfer of pre-stress in pre-tensioned member. Okay, so transfer of pre-stress in pre-tensioned member. So uh, just know the model which I showed you is a post-tensioned member. Why? Because we are doing tensioning after casting of concrete, after concrete attaining its maximum characteristic compression strength. Okay. So, but this is completely about a pretension member. What are the examples of pretension member? Can you tell me what are the examples of pretension member? Anyone? What are the examples of pretension member? Railway sleeper is a pretension member. Okay. All our precasted elements. So, nowadays there are a lot of precasted elements, right? So, slab is a precasted element, column is a precasted element. Right, beams are all precasted elements. They are all precasted, precasted, pre-tensioned member. Okay, even our LND metro segments, viaduct segments are all pre-tensioned, and then they are doing post-tensioning. Okay, so like that, even uh, electrical poles, concrete RCC electrical poles are also pre-tensioned member. So here in the fourth unit, we are going to study about how the pre-stress is going to be transferred in pre-tensioned members okay so our pre-stress and the pre-tensioned members transfer we are going to study okay so i think uh, uh, i have showed you many videos and many uh, images also so where uh, uh, there will be a casting uh, bed okay so first we will try to insert strand and then it is supposed to be pulled and anchored at both ends Kada? Anchor chase in Tarwata, what we do? We are going to pour concrete into it, into the casting bed. After concrete attaining its strength, you put attain outundi. So after the it's curing period. In just some fast curing avadanki, we are going to do steam curing. Okay. So when you do steam curing, the concrete will attain its strength within within hours. Okay. So after attaining its strength, what we do? We are going to cut the strands at the anchorage part. When you cut the strands, what what happens? Will your strands will try to try to compress. Ante kada? Ipre the me rubber band ni pull chendi, right? And when you try to cut the band at both ends, emotni it will become shorten. Kada? So the same way after casting, after getting its strength, so you are going to cut the strands at the anchorage part, and then your concrete is going to be squeezed. With the support of strands, squeeze and apply more your concrete is pre-stressed. Okay, with the help of strands. So that is what exactly the pre-tensioned members. Okay, so all our railway slippers, as I told you, electrical poles, they are all pre-tensioned members, and matter. Okay.
okay so i think here the stride definition the stretched tendons okay i think you have to revise the uh, terms of uh, pre stressing materials okay so there is a ply by plies bind together we call it as a strand all strands bind together we call it as a tendon all tendons bind together we call it as a cable antena so ee terms me gurtundali okay so don't forget them so you can go through the pre stressing materials which we discussed in the first unit okay so the stretched tendons transfer the pre stress to the concrete leading to the self equilibrating system so what do you mean self equilibrating system here so why we are supposed to transfer forces into the concrete so why because to make your concrete equilibrium equilibrium ante see what happens what do you mean equilibrium see let us take this beam so when it is subjected to load what happens it will bend kada so to make this member equilibrium the equilibrium cheyali ante enti na applied force which is on the top should be balanced with the force which is which is inducing into the concrete concrete lo nenu entha force ni induce cheyali the force which is making your beam to bend the force which is making your beam to sag okay the same force which you are supposed to apply into the concrete okay so that makes your member equilibrium apde kada adi deflection kaakunda untundi both in pre tension and post tension okay so how much force you are supposed to induce onto the concrete the force which makes your member deflect that force you are supposed to apply or induce into the concrete which makes your member equilibrium right so that is the meaning of uh, the stretched tendons transfer the pre stress to the concrete leading to a self equilibrating system understand so that's what we are going to study over here right so the best examples for pre tension members are railway sleepers they are all pre tension okay so and you can observe clearly your railway sleeper is something like a cantilever member okay enduko cantilever member antunanu so try observe carefully in your railway sleeper where your track will lie your track will lie at ends not at center avuna meer eppudu railway track chudandi if it is a railway track meer railway track ela untado telusa it will be like this okay it will be like this okay so center lo koddiga down undi ends lo ila ila pike lift ayi untundi okay and where you are going to provide a track you are going to provide track at at ends okay so ends lo provide chesina pude em avutundi so when your track is here it is something like a cantilever member kada so when you provide one second amma hello madam nen class lo unnanu madam cheppandi hello hello okay so your track is going to be placed at end so why because so when it is lifted like this so it is something like a cantilever kada eppudaithe meeku track ikkada untundo this track is making your member to you to bend kada anduke meeku lopala strands kuda which you are going to be which they are supposed to be provided in a form of a cantilever ga provide ayi untundi hello 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 మేడం నేను క్లాస్ లో ఉన్నాను మేడం క్లాస్ ఎప్పుడు వెళ్ళి వస్తాను ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ యు నో ద యు నో ప్రీ టెన్షన్ రైల్వే స్లీపర్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి యూస్డ్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ ఎ ప్రీ టెన్షన్ మెంబర్ యూజువల్లీ దెర్ ఇస్ నో యాంకరేజ్ డివైస్ అట్ ద ఎండ్స్ ఎందుకంటే యాంకర్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు వై యు రిక్వైర్డ్ యాంకర్ యు రిక్వైర్డ్ యాంకర్ టు హోల్డ్ ద ప్రీ స్ట్రెస్సింగ్ స్ట్రాండ్స్ ఓకే విత్ ఇన్ ద పొజిషన్ కానీ ఈ ప్రీ టెన్షన్ మెంబర్స్ లో మీరు యాంకర్డ్ డివైజెస్ ఏం చేయాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు వై బికాస్ వెన్ యూ పుల్ ద స్ట్రాండ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు క్యాచ్ ద కాంగ్ క్యాచ్ ద బెడ్ రైట్ స్లీపర్ ని మీరు అప్పుడు క్యాచ్ చేస్తారు సో ఆఫ్టర్ క్యాస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ అటైనింగ్ ఇట్ స్ట్రెంగ్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కట్ ద స్ట్రాండ్స్ ఎట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద యాంకరేజ్ ఎండ్స్ కట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది యువర్ కాంక్రీట్ విల్ గెట్ స్పీజ్డ్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ బెండ్ ఇన్ టు డిఫైన్ షేప్ అనమాట ఓకే సో దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ yeah so that is what happening in uh, uh, railway sleepers okay please try to understand 
So why your railway slippers, uh, uh, railway track is going to be placed at ends of the railway slipper, not at the center. Okay, so that is the reason, right? In that way, your railway slippers are going to be casted. Okay, right? And uh, for a pre-tensioned member, the pre-stress is transferred by the bond between the concrete and the tendon. So very important bond. Why we are talking about bond here? Why? Because if there is no bond between, please see, if there is no bond between the string and the concrete, okay, you don't need to bonding layer on Kondi. Even if I pull, what happens? It won't react, right? As a bond on Kondi, if I pull, it will try to bend, whatever. It will try to show its behavior, right? So bonding between the string and, I mean, strand and the concrete is always must. So then only the transfer, transfer load transformation takes place, okay? So for a pre-tensioned member, the pre-stress is transferred by the bond between the concrete and the tendon. We don't need to much a bonding on mud, right? So there are the three mechanisms. There are usually three mechanisms in the bond. We bond man and create shade and three mechanisms. First one is adhesion between concrete and steel. What do you mean adhesion? Adhesion and so you know abrasion, adhesion, you know, the contact between the concrete and steel. So we call it as an adhesion and a contact uh, thing and matter. Second one is mechanical bond at the concrete and steel interface. Here mechanical bond. Mechanical ante in terms of friction. Okay. So friction in presence of transverse compression. If the string ki strand ki concrete ki bonding untundo, then only the friction develops and where your concrete is supposed to be compressed. Right. So concrete claim out compress out as concrete is good in compression. So when you try to cut the strands from the anchorage positions, from the anchorage ends. Your concrete will get squeezed. Squeezing and anti compression. Okay, the squeezing is taking place just because of having friction between strand and the concrete. Proper bond on dynamic friction on the. Okay, otherwise there is no bond, right? So that's how there are three mechanisms. One is addition between concrete and steel. The second one is so third one friction. Amma. It's not mentioned or numbering as there. Mechanical bond at the concrete and steel interface and friction in presence of transverse compression. So these are the three mechanisms where the bond was created between the concrete and tendon. Okay. Right. And uh, we will uh, explain, I mean, we'll uh, have more brief about the transmission length. Okay. And other parts in the coming classes because uh, with five students of strength, we can't discuss more uh, things on this. Okay, I request everyone, so please uh, inform others where the classes were started, right? And uh, we are into discussion of a fourth module, right? So please inform your friends. So by that, we can continue uh, theory first, and then we are going to solve problems on uh, digital pad. So where you can also do the problem parallelly with me, okay? And uh, let me tell you, all my problems are going to be stored, okay, in a... Uh, uh, video so where we can able to apply upload all the videos in youtube channel okay so where you can have uh, a revision of the problems also but it my sincere request is you people should do problems along with me in the notes then only you can able to understand because uh, solving problems with the presentations it won't be good so that is the reason why uh, i have purchased a digital uh, board so where we can have the so problems you know on the board itself Right. Yeah. Anything else, guys? So only five. Not even. Uh, I mean, anyone didn't join in between, and now the participants are only four. Anything? Do you want me to ask anything, guys? <sighs> Roll number 123, 34, 48, 152. Any questions? No, sir. See, why uh, have you not informed anyone that the classes were started in the class are going on any way over till either? Less than in a danger starting, sir. Okay. On Monday, Burko, exam, sir. Yes. Ah, yeah, sir. Mid area, yes. 
ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేయండి పిల్లలకి ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేయండి క్లాసెస్ స్టార్ట్ అయ్యాయని ఓకే రైట్ ఓకే ఓకే అమ్మా అండ్ అటెండ్ అవ్వండి ఆ ఏఎస్బిఎల్ డ్రైవ్ కి అటెండ్ అవ్వండి ఓకే ఎనీ రిఫరెన్స్ ఆర్ రికమెండేషన్ పర్టికులర్లీ సో డెఫినెట్లీ ఐఎమ్ రెడీ టు హెల్ప్ యూ గైస్ బికాస్ దే దే ఆర్ ప్రిఫరింగ్ పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ రిఫర్డ్ బై సమ్ వన్ ఓకే సో మీరు రిఫర్ చేయండి సార్ ఆ క్యాండిడేట్ బాగుండడు బాగా వర్క్ చేస్తాడు అని అంటే మమ్మల్ని రిఫర్ చేయమంటున్నారు బట్ ఐ విల్ రిఫర్ సమ్ వన్ హూ ఈస్ వెరీ మచ్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ డూయింగ్ ద జాబ్ ఓకే అలాంటి వాళ్ళని నేను రిఫర్ చేస్తాను బికాస్ శాలరీ ఈస్ నాట్ దాట్ స్మాల్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్స్ పర్ యానమ్ అంటే వెరీ గుడ్ శాలరీ ఓకే సో ఇట్స్ అప్ టు యూ సో ఎనీ వన్ వాంట్ ఏ స్పెషల్ రిఫరెన్స్ సో డెఫినెట్లీ ప్లీజ్ కాంటాక్ట్ మీ అండ్ జస్ట్ ఐ విల్ పుట్ ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ టు యూ సో బై దట్ ఐ కెన్ రిఫర్ యూ ఓకే మ్యామ్ ఈ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ డ్రైవ్ అటెండ్ అవ్వ ఎవరికైతే ఫిఫ్టీన్ థౌసండ్ లెస్ దాన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ థౌసండ్ ఎంసీ ర్యాంక్ ఉందో వాళ్ళకే డ్రైవ్ ఉంది టూ ఓ క్లాక్ అది ఓకే సార్ లింక్ లేకపోతే ఎట్లా ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తారు లింక్ ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తారు మా కరెక్ట్ టూ ఓ క్లాక్ కదా సో బిఫోర్ టూ ఓ క్లాక్ దే విల్ ఇంటిమేట్ యూ హౌ యు ఆర్ సపోజ్ టు లాగ్ ఇన్ రైట్ ఓకే ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేస్తారు మీకు మిత్ర దాంట్లో చెప్పండి వాళ్ళు టూ ఓ క్లాక్ ముందే ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేస్తారు రైట్ సో బై దట్ ఎవరికైతే ఆ ఎక్సెల్ షీట్ లో డేట్ లిస్ట్ ఉందో వాళ్ళకి ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేస్తారు ఓకేనా